Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is uh, part five. Um, everything all on the bench after it's been vibrated, repolished, super finished. Um, customer sent in two gearboxes, basically just, it, it was his own, and basically said, um, just chuck everything in, doesn't matter about mixing it all up. So here we are. Two gear bit boxes, I think from a CR five hundred, all chucked in, and um, yeah, super finished. So, just, if you followed the journey so far, um, you'll know that there's other videos. If not, this is part five. Go and watch the video part one of how they arrived. Um, part two in the first Deber Media. Um, and so on. So, yeah. For anyone interested in learning how to do it, I'm willing to sell the information for gears. So, basically, tell you where to get the media, how long it's in for, what liquids to use, how much you use. Um, yeah. Just basically the full runtime, all the instructions on how to do it, and you'll be able to do it exactly like this. So, if that's of interest to you, pop me a comment or an email, and um, I do charge for it just to cover my time and the fact that it's my business. So, he's actually doing it. So. If you are interested in having gears done, I can also do that. That's no problem at all. Um, I am UK based, but that doesn't affect anyone wanting to actually buy the stuff to do it either, because they will ship worldwide. So I'm pretty cer certain of that. Um, does a wonderful job. It's still not a very um, well-known process, really. Um, so many people look at you so blank when you tell them what you do, and it's like they haven't a clue what it is. But it's been around for many years. Um, you see machines on eBay and Marketplace on Facebook and that, and, you know, the 50-year-old machines. So this technology is been out there for a long time be actually interesting to know how long people have been doing it um but yeah everything is just silky smooth i've done all my bikes all my engine internals anything that moves is just vibrate repolished so these are just incredibly smooth now Apparently it's up to 50% less noise as well on your drivetrain. I'm yet to actually put the uh, gears on my lathe through because they're very noisy and that'd be an interesting thing. Um, see how many decibel it is before and uh, do the full process, which is a bit overkill on an old 1930s lathe, but do the full process and then check it afterwards. That'd be a good test, because that is noisy. Cars and bikes, they're not noisy. But it certainly does lower the temperature that the gearbox runs at. So. Such a good finish on everything. So I've done a fair few of these now. I've been doing it, uh, this stuff. So, uh, going on four years now. It was a beautiful job. So, appreciate anyone who's made it this far in the video, listening to me drone on. Um, it's hard talking to yourself, but I don't seem to struggle. <laughs> I 
I might be picking up the same ones, I can't remember to be honest. Beautiful finish on these gears. So I've had stuff that's come up far better than these have as well. Um, exactly the same procedure, but these don't seem to have had exactly exactly the amount of shine that some of my other parts have had. But it's still very nice, perfectly smooth. Though that's the main thing. But I've had some gearboxes come up literally like glass. It's such a shame to use them. Um, they belong on a in a glass cabinet really. I've always wanted to make a um Perspex box with these gear well, with some gears in. Um for just show use really. Or, um a coffee table or something. I need to get a coffee table first. <laughs> but yeah. It's uh, an interesting process. Certainly worth it when it's done, especially when it's built and you turn the uh, drive, uh, you turn the output shaft for the first time and feel how smooth the gears feel. God, it's amazing. But um, I've got a few more gears in soon, so I'll try and do a video on them. Um, because that particular type do come up really, really well. So I'll see how they go. So yeah, I think that's pretty much about everything. They come up amazing as well. Hopefully the uh, video quality is a little bit better today. I found a setting on my phone, which is 4K. Um, I clicked it and it was like, whoa, this is good. So hopefully by the time it's downloaded onto YouTube or uploaded rather, I'm not very tech savvy, so you gotta forgive me on my terms. But hopefully by the time it's uploaded, um, it still has the decent quality. Try and zoom into this. So it doesn't, uh, oh no, it is working. My screen's dirty, so it's hard to see. I'm on a bad note straight away because it's hard to see what I'm supposed to be uh, recording. So anyway, I'll leave it there, because the video's long enough now, um, or too long rather. Just waited you to get a good idea of what everything looks like, a good look over everything. I'm not really too sure if I've looked over that. There you go. So yeah, I'll leave it there. Um, keep following my videos. Um, I just basically randomly put weird videos up of different bits and bobs that I'm up to. So it's not one particular thing. It's just a bit of a mix, some polishing, some vibratory polishing, a bit of driving an old car, so on. So yeah, hopefully you like it. Um, again, if you want to learn more on how to do this process or 
you want this process done and you're uh, basically you're in Britain and you want it done. Um, I will ship abroad, but you've probably usually got someone in your own country. Um, but yeah, if you want this done, give me a shout. If you want to, to learn how to do it, what media to use, everything like that, I do charge, but you can... Uh, I can sort you out with that. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. If you've gone the whole five videos, fair play. Um, helps with my view time and growing my channel. So, thanks very much. Hope you've enjoyed the video. See you on the next one. And sorry I keep repeating myself. It's late again. Been a long day. So, thanks for being patient. See you again. Thank you.